Hello everyone, you are watching another episode of Military Gear. The Missile Defense Agency has tapped Raytheon, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman to compete in developing a new Glide Phase Interceptor GPI, a defensive hypersonic weapon designed to take out adversary hypersonic missiles mid-course during their unpowered flight. Raytheon Missiles and Defense was awarded $20.97 million, Lockheed Martin, $20.94 million, and Northrop Grumman, $18.95 million, according to MDA's contract announcement. Concept designs for prototypes, from each vendor, are due by September 2022. The GPI is being developed to knock down hypersonic missiles, as they glide through the Earth's upper atmosphere at about 70 km in altitude at speeds greater than Mach 5. It is being designed for launch from the Navy's Aegis cruisers. Today's ballistic missile systems, both for tracking and targeting, were optimized for just that, a ballistic missile taking a highly arched trajectory in which most of its flight path is in outer space. Hypersonic missiles spend little if any time in space and further can maneuver so that their paths are unpredictable. Speed plus maneuverability means they are extremely difficult to track. The radar on the Navy's Aegis ships and the sea-based spanned radar used for terminal defense can track hypersonic missiles, but of course that depends being in the right place at the right time. For this reason, MDA and the Space Development Agency are developing the Hypersonic and Ballistic Tracking Space Sensor HBTSS, satellites in low Earth orbit, between about 100 km and 2000 km up, to augment current missile warning or tracking satellites that lose hypersonic missiles after their boost phase. Northrop Grumman is also on contract for an HBTSS sensor, competing with L3 Harris. Further, the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System's SM-3 interceptor is designed to kill an incoming missile in space, as is the Army's ground-based interceptor on the ground-based mid-course defense system. The range of the Navy's terminal phase interceptor, the SM-6, is just too short given the high speeds of hypersonic weapons, the range of the Army's Theater High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD, is even shorter. So, GPI aims to fill that gap, with MDA already considering how the interceptor might be fitted to land-based missile defense systems, and it will be the first-ever interceptor with the speed, ability to withstand heat and maneuverability required to intercept hypersonic threats in this environment. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.